Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to Made with Unity Mondays for the 23rd of May 2022, where I feature some of the best games, creations, and effects created inside Unity. Be sure to submit to me if you have any awesome creations for a chance to be featured in next week's episode. So do be sure to come and support me and check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the descriptions for all the latest sales and stuff from Humble Bundle, Unity and Game Dev and so much more. And make sure you throw a like on this video and be subscribed to always be kept up to date to what I'm making. So number one is we've got Unleash the Giraffe with a turn based deck builder which is leaving early access. The next one we've got Jippy NKT and this is a game jam game called Iron Guardian. Vanbo is turning his bedroom into an underwater station. Little Mountain Anim has been learning Unity's path tracing tool and has made a short film, The Pacifist Rim. Anthel Dumont has got a technical challenge where it's a themed playing card. Dervish has done a technical challenge for creating an interactive waterfall. M underscore Hakazaki has got fish that will fit into any size. Playloop underscore studios has got Constructor which is the dungeons builder. Six Thorns has got new flying kicks and extra cool effects. Brute Force game has got the Ice and Snow Shader, which is available on the Unity Asset Store. Jacob underscore Wahlberg is at it again with monkey spiders and monsters made of clay. Graviton Punch has got a mining laser and it's the first time using visual effects graph.
Simon developer has decided to ship the early access version of Mad Balls. Disco Fish Games has got a stylized electric punch with visual effects. Smile FR21 has got the brand new Cave Generator. Kellum L has got no keyframes and it's all procedurally driven animations with a gamepad. Gabriel Agua FX has got tornadoes that can destroy everything. Omelette and Yog 1 has got an awesome looking prototype for hand tissue and physics and it looks a little bit freaky. John Christensen has got tiny tyres and lots of tiny vehicles. Lime Kami Bear is experimenting with level generation for the new game, Sword Step. Bad Piggy 490 is got an arena shooter where the arena is the timer itself. Alex Amai has made a half-tone painted look shade and it kind of reminds me of the little carpet I used to have as a kid. So thanks to everybody for coming to watch and be sure to check out all these amazing creations for this week. Do check out my Patreon to get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and chat to me on Discord, check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store along with massive discounts on my website for all those great assets. Big thanks to all my patrons and a special thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Tan Yanlin, David76, Sammy Romani, Jean Pomier, Naigoyan, Matt Cindy Dino, Zach, Manos Berakas, Terence Conrad, Gade Linston, Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Randall X, Mumu Zoo, Rene Leisure, Darren M, and Topher Chambers. So thank you to everybody else for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.